Pisces, welcome to your general reading. This is going to be for the sign of Pisces. It will not resonate with all of you out there. This is also not Sun, Moon, or Venus sign specific. Any Pisces placement you deem relevant, messages may resonate. Personal reading information, any jewelry seen is all linked and listed at the end. Uh, we'll pull some oracles, give you a little bit more guidance for the week. Otherwise, Pisces, here we go. First card out is the Knight of Swords. Air sign energy could be important to you, Gemini, Libra, or an Aquarius. But this is very fast movement, communication, information either coming at you, either coming at you, or you're doing this to somebody. Let's see what else we've got going on. We have the Queen of Wands, fire sign energy. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, you could be this queen of wands. Could have fire when you try to just be embodying this energy. But whoever this queen of wands is, she's not paying any attention to this knight of swords. Gemini energy, major arcana, the lovers. Yeah, she's choosing to not even bother paying attention to it. Queen is king of swords. <coughs> Excuse me. I have a chest cold right now. <coughs> Excuse me. King of swords. More air sign energy, four of pentacles. Yeah. Looks like you were dealing with a very um, non-emotional masculine energy, male or female, it does not matter. It could have been some words between the two of you for real. Uh, it could have been something said on your behalf, on their behalf. We have the three of cups, the five of pentacles, and the king of wands. So we have a pair, a true pair here. Bottom of deck is the world card. Moving on, choosing. I think you're making the choice to go towards something that is more in line with you. I do get you're coming up as this queen, as queen of wands. You could have communicated something to someone, yeah, and ended it. You could have been like, you know what, sir, I'm done, ma'am, I'm done. This is this is I've received clarity, and this is it. I, I this is not working for me. This is like very much hot and cold energy. This person's cold, you hot. You know, you're in flow, you're creative, you're intuitive, you're attractive, you're, you're, uh, uh, what's it, seductive, all these, you know, passionate, firing, exciting things, this person, not so much. So whether they said something to you or something was communicated here, very heavy, I'm getting something was communicated. And so you didn't make, you've made the decision now to completely remove your energy from this person, hold back four of pentacles. There's definitely holding back the both of you could now be holding back. This person could be choosing to hold back, but secretly wanting to still be with you in whatever, sorry, capacity, because this could definitely be a friend. I'm seeing three of cups here. That is friendship energy, you know, um, and it doesn't have to be a masculine. This just means someone could have taken the action and said something to you that's, that has you like, OK, cool. Nice knowing you. You're very much ready to move completely on. I see you're not even giving it any time or attention, whereas I think this person think this might be a break. They think this is a break. They're holding back, but they still have the uh, assumption that you guys will maybe reunite. But I don't think that's where you're at. I see the Ten of Swords here. They might be very surprised to find out that you have no intention of revisiting this. Not. Okay, because I do see the Five of Pentacles also, which is lack mentality. Someone feeling left out. Someone feeling alone. Someone feeling abandoned. I do get it's this King of Swords, whoever that is. Male or female. And uh, I do see the world card, which is done, done, done. It's like, and this is also the, the world. This depiction always gives me the vibe of it's like, I don't really want to end it, but I know I got to end it because she's looking back. She's moving forward, but she's still very much subconsciously, you know, in the same place. She, she hasn't left subconsciously yet. Her body's moving forward, but subconsciously, she's still subconsciously, emotionally, she's still sort of tied to the past. And I do see a better match coming in here for you. We have the King and Queen of Wands. That could also be why you're no longer interested in sort of giving this time and energy. This person might be very shocked at the fact that, um, you know, you're completely done with this. They thought it was maybe, you know, just another fight. Y'all get over it. Y'all talk it out. They're just going to give you your space for now, which is that Four of Pentacles. Not letting go, but still very much giving you your space when you... You're, you're looking at this like, okay, this book is closed. Two major arcanas, this book is closed. So when the realization happens that you've completely let this go, someone is going to be very upset, no doubt. 
no doubt ten of swords and the uh five of pentacles someone is really going to be upset at the fact that you know you're not you're not um you're over it is very much the vibe that i'm getting you're over it okay so we have the knight of cups the queen of swords yeah so they might be back they will be back they will try and sort of rekindle this again there will be a reaching out there will be an expression of emotion and it looks like you're ready but i think this is going to either be you saying listen the last time was the last time yeah the last time was the last time you might not even see that they're you might not think they'll come back but they are and it looks like you'll be ready for them it's like a lot of mirroring going on too when you were warm with them they were cold something was said something was discussed and the decision on your behalf was to leave it behind completely and there was is more so this is a break now that the resurgence or when the, when the resurgence happened or it could be then that actually takes action they might try and come back with now trying to match the old energy and you might be matching them with their old energy very much getting tit for tat very much getting cat and mouse game um but i don't think this person is done yet i think there will be a realization that um you're really done you're not coming back nine of cups two of cups yeah something that there was real love here this was a wish fulfillment for somebody looks like it ended suddenly and it looks like someone is very confused as to why it ended a lot of confusion here as to why it blew up because the tower there's no coming back you can't rebuild well you can rebuild a tower but it's a completely new tower you can't build back the same tower you got to start from scratch so this person's perception of the altercation wasn't as serious as i get um as yours was your interpretation was a lot more um, final. Final. You know? I hate when this does this. Hold on. Yeah. Your interpretation of the fight was a lot more final. This was this is done for you completely. Three major arcanas. Because it was huge. Whatever this was, you interpreted as huge. And now this person's confused as to what happened. Where did the finality come from? They also may want to offer you something here. Yeah, they want to heal, they want to offer, they want to talk. Two aces, two of cups. I guess this person is realizing that um, they want to fight for you. You are their desire. You are their wish fulfillment. Lots of cups here. Lots of cups. It also could be that when they do try and come back, they still take the wrong approach. You know? They still take the wrong approach. They come back on the passionate side. So it looks like the realization is feelings... That's why you're not giving them any time of day. But it looks like some serious offers want to be given. Healing, star card. Yeah, someone was playing games, quite literally. They were playing games. They were pretending as if, uh, you know, they, they weren't on the same page when they really were the entire time. And, you know, Queen of, Queen of Wands, she doesn't have the patience for it. She does not have the patience for it. Male or female does not matter. But someone was pretending that they weren't on the same page. And they were. They, they, they were like deliberately playing this cat and mouse game. Believe in the impossible. Blue moon and surrender to the vine. Absolutely. Someone's about to surrender. Whether you care or not. I don't think so. I don't know. All of you will be different. That's just the story we're getting today though. Yeah. This knight of wands. He was like calling your bluff. Is the vibe that I'm getting. And you weren't bluffing. Trust the niggle. What is the niggle feeling trying to tell you? I think this person is being intuitively led back to you. And play. Have fun. Celebrate. Don't be so serious. Well, I think it's a bit too late for that. Because I think that's originally what they should have came in with. Because they are literally a good match for you. King and Queen of Wands. But they tried to play this cold, detached energy. And deep down, you are you're exactly what it is that they've been wanting, wishing, hoping for. Everything. So here they come with all these offers and this healing. Up to you what you do with it, obviously. But that's that. Let's see what oops, the animal oracle has. Okay, what do we have for Pisces? Signs that I'm seeing. Gemini. Um, Scorpio. Aries. Uh, I guess all of them. 
Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Cancer, Spicy, Scorpio. It's heavy on the Scorpio. Be playful. See, someone was play someone was playing games and not the right kinds. You know, they were this king of wands all along, but they were playing it like they were the king of swords. Someone that ain't got feelings, don't want to do the feelings thing when really they were hot for you. They were hot for you. And believe in yourself. Because it's lack of self-esteem. Uh-huh. As usual. Someone lacked self-esteem. So they felt the need to play games, to play cat and mouse, to play tit for tat. And you lost, you, they lost you here. Or this could be vice versa. However the story applies, take it as it resonates. But someone was playing games. You know, they didn't want to seem as interested as they were when really you're the whole shebang to this person. Your worth is not tied to your productivity. Yeah, so someone has some self-worth issues or they did. They did. They definitely had some self some self-worth vibes going on that was making them act out of character or maybe in character, but now realizing that that is not their character. They're very much this king of wands. They're very much the knight of cups. They're very much in tune with emotions. They do want love. They do want something serious. That is your reading, Pisces. Hopefully it resonates with you. Thumbs me up, leave me a comment. Don't forget to subscribe. See you guys next week.